Hey, how you doing? It's the Bob and Annie Show. I am Bob. I'm Annie. Hey, yeah, it's us. And we're indoors now. Yeah, we kind of uh, jumped the gun by sitting outside last week. So we ruined the weather um, because we thought it was spring. Some people thought it was. because I, I saw someone with uh, no shoes, no socks, no shirt. Naked? Yeah, it was a nice lady. Were they wearing shirts? Uh, no. <laughs> It was a guy, and he, he ruined it. People like that ruin it. I don't even wear sandals in the summer. I don't know why all of a sudden in the spring it's like you're on the surface of the sun. I know. I it's know. because, we've been, because yeah. we've been bundled up for so long. So, one warm day. Yeah, so. one we'll, warm day, and, we got, and then we got hail as a punishment. Yeah. And I think that one was my fault because um, I went and got my car washed. And then it hailed. That night. Well, we already have the plague, so we got everything. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we get out of it. The <laughs> plague, the hail, and what? What else do we need? Some locusts. Yeah. Bring on the locusts. Some locusts. <laughs> um, yeah, and we're talking. You know, uh, in the morning, some people still have cereal. Did you used to have cereal before school? I um, used to when yeah, I was a kid. I think, yeah. I, I think I did. Uh, don't anymore. But uh, one guy was enjoying his cinnamon toast crunch. And he found uh, there was like, you know, you get those sugary clusters and you're like, oh, it must have stuck together and yeah. that thing. It was what he believes to be an empty shrimp tail. <laughs> That's what he says. But he, I don't know. Interesting. He is a comedian named Jensen Carp. Because <laughs> he's a fish. Uh, he's an L.A. based comedian. Uh, and, uh, so, so maybe he did this, maybe this is just a way for him to get some publicity, right? I've never heard of him, but, uh, you know, he was eating it with his kids and apparently he bought it at, uh, Costco in Woodland Hills. Uh, but the interesting part, uh, Mr. Carp is actually married to Danielle Fishnell. Topanga? Fishnell. Yes, Topanga. <gasps> From Boy Meets World. Yeah. Out there. Everybody knows Topanga. And this shrimp boy has got <laughs> Topanga as a wife. Wow. So I can't believe that she would even let him publicize, publicize this because she's still kind of a celebrity. She's still totally a celebrity. And if I found some disgusting piece of rodent or shellfish in my cereal, I for dang sure would be posting it on Facebook. Yeah. So do you think Mr. Feeney... Is going to check this out <laughs> from the show. Some people are saying on Twitter that Sean did it. <laughs> Remember the kid the show? I don't know. He was always doing stuff. Maybe instead of locusts, we're getting shrimp in mm -hmm. all our cereal boxes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't uh, find uh, anything in my cereal, but uh, my wife here, my, oh, me. my own Topanga. Uh, Aw, that's so nice. nice isn't it? Uh, my own Topanga had a play red. I did. Yeah. Yes. On uh, on Saturday, the 27th, which happened to be also World Theater Day. Yes, it was. And No one went anywhere. But no, was... it's the second World Theater Day we spent in the dark um, mm -hmm. in terms of theater. And yes, um, our friends at Tiny Theater, Rachel Bertram and Brendan Powers, mm -hmm. read my one-page play they put a call out for that and it was um they've been doing a play a day for a month yes to celebrate their year online doing theater it's cool we, we first kind of got in touch with them through your friend kathleen yes through kathleen reichelt who is she, a fantastic playwright she had a play read on there i had kathleen on my show the romeo report on your tv catch it wednesdays and sundays and uh <laughs> And so she was on the show, and then you were watching the Tiny Theater, and I said, oh, this is kind of cool. And then I had Rachel and Brendan on my show as well, and it comes full circle. And we now I'm on life. their show. Now you're on their show. Well, it's what I fantastic. wrote was on their show. Yeah, and so. it, was, it was good, and it was loosely based on somebody you know. <laughs> if you ever see it in here. Um, yes, loosely based. <laughs> so we have to talk about this, Bob. This, yeah. is, this is the part of the show where I get mad at you. Uh, <laughs> It's his favorite part of the show. So the play that I wrote is called Wrapped Up. And basically, it's about a wife's frustration over her husband leaving God. wrappers all over the place. It's not as busy as you'd think it is. It's, uh, it's little wrappers from your tea. Maybe if we've had some cookies, oatmeal cookies, I leave it there. But I'm going to pick bars. it up. 
wrappers. It's just sitting there for the time being. Cheese slice wrappers. I can go on and on. I'm no um, way this, a hoarder. I don't put it all over the place. But no, I'm just but you saying. leave it. But you leave it. And look, we're sitting in our kitchen, and we're gonna throw here to the center camera. Mm. So right about there is where the garbage can is. No, I'm gonna from, put that stuff from away here, later. <laughs> from here to there. Yeah. You can do it, Bob. Mm -hmm. I have faith in you. Well, if it, if people are watching out there now, thinking, do I leave wrappers around? Look how clean it is. No wrappers here. I don't see any wrappers. <laughs> I wonder if the set dresser is the one that cleaned it up for us. I don't know. I'm the set dresser. Great segue. The set dresser. The set dresser. Have you noticed her <laughs> hair is different? <laughs> <laughs> the transformation is complete. Mm -hmm. So what nice. do you think? Looks very nice. We had a little. There was a moment where my hair was a little blue. And then I thought about all of the times that um, I worked matinee performances where, and we always call matinee performances the blue hair special. Because, oh, because well, that's what it's not actually blue. It, it is just, though. I found silver. out that when you do, when you do, when you get your hair grayed out, when like you get it did. Yeah, there, apparently blue is the undertone to gray, mm -hmm. which there was a bit of it in my hair. But we worked through it and ta-da! So now that your hair is done, I need to trim. So you can yes. trim because everything's going nuts in the world, but you still got to have a good look. <laughs> yeah. Nobody gotta... knows who you are, but you got to have a good look. Yeah, you got to look good. <laughs> but people learn to recognize. I think the eyes are very telling. I think. I don't Yours know. are very telling. Yeah. Yours are very, that's what I fell in love with. Yeah. It's true. I you didn't those... know anything about the rappers at that point. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. No. I had to. He did it, ladies Anyways, and gentlemen. I should it. go and you clean should up wrap my rappers. It up. Yep. <laughs> I'll wrap it up. This is a this is all together. We didn't even <laughs> rehearse this. We're going good. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you next time. I'm Bob. I'm Annie. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Rap. Rap. We were all gonna rap. We were rapping. Are you yeah. gonna throw down a beat for me? <laughs> you gotta have the raps. I got the beat box. I can't. Not to that. No. No.